Hi, my name is Michael Schuldenfrey and I'm the CTO at Optimal Plus. In our last talk, I introduced the topic of big data and provided a little background into why it is relevant in semiconductor manufacturing. Today, I'll talk a little more about the challenges surrounding big data for manufacturing and the benefits big data can bring in the realm of quality. So for quality, we ask the question, is good really good? In other words, how can you make sure you never ship a bad part to your customer? Today, you assume your test equipment and process can reliably make the decision for you. But is that really a valid assumption? Over the years, quality has become more of an issue for our customers. At first, it was considered a significant topic, mainly for medical, military or aerospace products. Electronics have become so pervasive in everyday life that quality is now mission critical for just about any product with semiconductor content, such as smartphones, tablets and cars. In fact, manufacturers are shifting the industry metric for quality from defects per million to defects per billion. But when we analyze field failures or returns, more than two thirds of problems are unrelated to the manufacturing process. In this data, collected by one of our customers, 40% of the issues are actually related purely to testing issues. Let's take a look at some of these test-related quality issues, starting with test equipment. Here is a common example, which we call an ATE freeze, where the tester incorrectly returns the same or similar test result for a series of parts. These results are clearly unreliable and could easily be hiding test escapes. But due to the large amount of data involved, it takes a big data solution to catch these problems in real time. Another category of problems is related to test operations. Here we can see a case where some dice were reprobed 10 times, irreparably damaging the contact pads. Yet these chips were designated as good by the tester. In this case, the tester could not identify the problem on its own because it does not know the retest history of the wafer you need an external big data system to catch the problem as soon as it manifests itself. Finally, there are test program issues. In this example, an inadvertent change by an engineer caused Softbin 11 to drop from its typical level of 3% to zero overnight, resulting in a significant number of escapes. Once again, with a big data solution, you can catch these issues before they become a problem. So now we know why we need big data to catch test escapes. But what are the challenges? The first challenge is collecting the correct data for the analysis. Engineers often spend hours or days searching for the relevant data logs. Secondly, analysis of that data requires looking at millions or billions of data points, making it a processing nightmare. Big data really is big. Thirdly, relationships in the data are complex. For example, engineers need to filter out invalid or incomplete data and connect data across multiple operations. But most importantly, data has to be actionable. If you can't act on the data in time to prevent the faulty part from shipping, there is little value in collecting it. Moreover, you can't rely on an engineer to analyze the data in order to take action. The analysis has to be customizable and fully automated. And finally, the analytic engine needs to be connected back to the systems in the supply chain so that the actions can be applied to the flow of material automatically. Just by way of example, it may be necessary to rebin a part or retest a wafer. Using a big data system connected into your supply chain, you can analyze a test escape in hours or minutes rather than days or weeks. And once you have determined the cause of the issue, you can set in place preventative measures that ensure it will never happen again. Using this approach, customers have reported a dramatic 50% reduction on random DPPM. Big data solutions are key to reducing escapes and improving overall manufacturing quality.